Grand Rising, Supreme Rising, Beloveds, how are you guys doing this wonderful afternoon? I'm your girl, Leila Awake, and I am back with an informative video in efforts to contribute something to my peeps. You know I love y'all like that. <laughs> so I wanted to come on today and... Um, I had a beautiful subscriber by the name of Candy. She requested, um, I, well, I, I did ask if there was any topics that you guys were interested in. And because I want to engage you, you all more. I want to engage you guys a lot more. And so I asked that question and I had one of my beautiful, faithful subscribers by the name of Candy to request the topic of etymology and which I agree is a very important topic and we I'm sure I think we need more to shine more light on it because especially because of what's happening on the planet today with all of the magic that's taking place now that we know who we're beginning to really know who we are and we're beginning to really realize how powerful we are and so the word magic yeah we're taking back our our stuff you know our spirituality we're becoming in control of ourselves which is how we were originally and how our uh, ancestors were and the reason we were able to our ancestors were able to create such such a beautiful world you know back in the day <laughs> because they had their control before the evils came in and took it and um, and they took all of our um, spiritual tools and made them their own and so we're getting all that back now in this now time this age of Aquarius we are returning back to our original selves and so we're learning relearning and remembering what you know we were doing and what we we're supposed to be doing still right now so the word magic uh is it's it's um streaming you know it's it's um it's a huge topic now because we're 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 getting this info back and the word etymology <laughs> which ties into all of that um, is a relevant word right now. It's a very, very important word. And I want to start by giving you the definition of etymology. And it's the study of the origin of words and the way in which their meanings have changed throughout history. And that is uh, the definition in one dictionary. And it's kind of it's a basic definition, but I think it describes the word. Um, I didn't look. This, guys, I want you guys to pick this up. This is um, Oxford Concise Dictionary of English Etymology. We all, everybody everybody needs to have this in your library. I have this in your home. It's an etymology dictionary. And a very powerful book. Uh, Explore the roots of the English language with over 17,000 word origins. And how many of you know that the origin of words is really, really important, guys? Because we use words every day in this English language, which is not our language, actually, guys. I want you to know that. It's not our original language. But it's the language that was forced upon us by them. So, but when we use words there's always an origin of every word that we use and to understand the true meaning of that word we need to understand where that word originated from you know what is the origin of it you know the prefix and you know when you dissect the word you, you look at the the first part you go back and you try and research and find out you know where that word originated from because it's very very important when we're speaking, you know, words have power. Words have power, guys. And um, so etymology is very, very important. I think it's a very, very, very wonderful topic. 
Candy, and a shout out to Candy. You know, I, I appreciate your feedback and giving me this uh, topic suggestion. So I want to, um, next thing I want to do, and I did book reviews, and this has been a part of, the, of a couple of book reviews that I've done previously, but this, this book is very relevant to this topic in this video right now, and it's called uh, Word Magic, The Powers and Occult Definition of Words. Words have power, guys, and I know many of you that are Christians or that attend church, you hear them say all the time, you know, uh, there's power in the tongue. You know, be careful what you say and, you know, and we do, you know, the, do the Lord's Prayer and we speak out. We always put a man at the end of the prayer and all of these are words. And these words have meaning. They're not, they're not just words. They have meaning. They have origins. Very powerful origins. And you can speak. Like we hear, even in spirituality, when we, uh, we, we put the words, I am, before anything, there's power in that. You know, you can create with the words, I am. Yeah, you can become whatever you choose to be. You can create yourself to be all of these great, wonderful things just by putting the word I am before the rest of the sentence, or the message, the quote. And so words are very powerful. So I'm going to introduce you to this book. Again, Word Magic, The Powers of an Occult Definition of Words. Take a good look at this book. And again, this is one of those books that I would recommend all to have in your library um, or just in your home if you don't have a library. But this is a very important book and this will help you out. It'll help you greatly, especially when it comes to uh, the term uh, etymology. So this, this book is very powerful. Uh, I've, I've read it and I use it as a reference. It's so many powerful messages in here. I can go to paragraph after paragraph and just blow your mind with all of the wonderful uh, information in this book. It says here, is there more to words than meets the eye? Let us tumble down the rabbit hole to explore the world of magic, the world of magic, words and legalese. And I will show you proof that there is more to words than meets the eye. This magical journey will teach you how words can be used to empower or to disempower. Once you learn how powerful words are and know how to wisely apply them to your life, you can effectively use them to exercise your rights, to manifest your desires, to overcome your fears, achieve spiritual freedom, and motivate kings and governments to bow down to you with awe and reverence. And guys, I've seen all of that. I've seen it in real life. I've seen it in movies. Uh, I've heard, you know, heard about it in church. You know, in the courtrooms, you'll be amazed at how you can change a trial by using the right words, the right clause of words. You go to your... Uh, uh, the, the, the Black's Law Dictionary and it is made up of certain words and certain clause, clauses in order to manipulate whatever the case you, you, you know and the situation you're dealing with in certain cases so words have power they have real power and I would suggest guys you start researching them so you can understand how, how this power works says, what is word magic? Word magic is the art of using sacred sounds and symbols and hidden forces to direct and control energy. Everything is energy, guys. Remember that. To produce certain desired effects or marvels. All words have magic property, properties. However, certain words have more magic properties in the, for the reason that they carry more energy and intention. This is why during magic rituals, certain words are used more than others because word magic uses sacred sounds and symbols and hidden forces to direct and control energy. 
It is one of the most effective tools for achieving desires. Programming the mind. How many of you know, like I talk about all the time, how tell lie visions have programmed us with words and also with pictures, symbols, hidden sounds. You know, it's all magic. It's all power. It is one of the most effective tools for achieving desires, programming the mind, or changing reality. It's magic power to reprogram the mind. I just said that. Causing reality to change is one of the reasons that it is heavily used by corporations such as religious institutions, banks, courts, and governments. Some of the word magic techniques that are used by corporations are shockingly revealed in this enlightened book. You want to get this book, guys. All of this is etymology. Um, the origin of words, because the origin of the word means something. And many times it is a powerful meaning. It can, it can actually uh, manipulate energy. So it's bigger, it's bigger than we ever knew, guys. And we're, we're, we're relearning this. We're re-understanding this or understanding this. The empowering knowledge in word magic. The powers and occult definitions of words has the potential to unlock many doors of your mind allowing you to explore a hidden world where you can use words to shape matter, control your destiny, and reprogram your mind. This enlightening book is not your average book because it explores magic and the power of words to the core of reality. By reading and exploring this empowering book, you would know how powerful words are. Furthermore, you will know why using words wisely is important for achieving success and freedom and restoring your kingdom of God. So there's power in words. And words, uh, it's tied to etymology, the term etymology. So again, etymology is the study of the origin of words. Okay, where does the word come from? Where did it originate from? What What is the meaning is in the origin. The origin of words and the way in which their meanings have changed throughout the history. So guys, you can you can you can recite, you can come up with an with with a list of affirmations, and you can recite these affirmations over a period of time and create and change manipulate your world, your space, your reality, and change it. Just by repeating certain words and certain clauses of words over a period of time. And that's what it means when they talk about manifestation. And, you know, all of that. You can manifest what you want. You can manifest your world. There is no reason why we can't have any and everything that we want. And the power to achieve that is within us. It's what we know about what to do when it comes to using words. So we have much more power than we realize, family. We just forgot. You know, being under this tyrannical system... For all these years, we just forgot. And now we are relearning. We are understanding, re understanding what we always understood and always knew, but we just forgot. They brought us, brought us in this low dimensional state on this planet. They changed the frequency and it caused us to, to become not lesser than, but it, it weakened us. It weakened us our mental state it weakened our physical state it weakened everything and it took away uh the knowledge that we it it hid the knowledge it caused us to not be able to reach the knowledge that is has always still been in us but we've had to to uh 
the, the universe and this system and Mother Gaia has is working right now to unlock our DNA and unlock those codes what they call junk DNA it's never been junk DNA it's always been valuable it's always been the real deal the real stuff where well, all of that is unlocking now so we can remember again so we can go within and um and get the uploads on all of this information that it's always been there it's just been kind of like locked away for this long period of time and the evils took control they were given they were allowed to take control of this planet and these are the things that they've been doing to keep us from you know seeing what we see and what we're seeing now is we're in the the midst of uh being wake be, being wakened up and returning back to our original selves and many of you uh realize that i know you do because i'm one of them many of us are in a place we have done the work. We have went through kundalini. Kundalini, if you're not familiar with that term, look it up. It's a very, very powerful, very important term, especially right now. Many of us have had the experiences, and so we're walking into returning back to our original selves, which is very, very important. So all of this stuff is, is really relevant. And the things that... Um, you, a lot of these terms you're hearing a lot about now, we're remembering, you know, uh, magic. We're, we're hearing a lot about crystals, you know, um, sound and how to how to heal with sound, with music. Um, we're hearing about the power of herbs and, and meditation. And all of these terms are becoming very, very relevant right now because we're 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 remembering those are our terms they're all a part of spirituality they're part of the science that is our science and it's in a, a very exciting time right now because we we are restoring ourselves and it's beautiful it doesn't matter what we think is you know what we see the illusion of what we see it's a beautiful time right now and this, this experience only happens every 2,160 something years, if I'm calculating correctly. But we are experiencing it. We are very blessed people to be on this planet, still in our avatars, on this planet at this time. So guys, just dig in and start really dissecting what it means, what, what words mean. Understand etymology, what it, what it all entails. Because it's very, very, very important. So if there's anyone out there that want to add to this to this uh, message, this content, I appreciate it so very much. And I thank I thank you, Candy, for uh, giving me this idea because it is your it was your suggestion that we talk about etymology. And I hope that you know I've shared something that could you know light a fire under you to go further and dig further into. Uh, this study I thank you so much you guys for all that you contribute I'm not going to stay on um, but I did want to get get this message out and I've been intent you know intending to before now so I'm just glad I found the time to get on here and do it so I want to thank you again very very much for for all that you guys do for all the participation and the comments and the shout outs that you you give me I thank you so much I love it when we love on each other like that it's such a blessing so just continue to to you know to do what you do and and um we're rising guys we're gonna come up out of this mess we're we're on our way so I'm gonna sign out I'm gonna ask you to like the video first because when you like it others can see it I'm going to ask you to also share it because when you share it, more people can see it. Click the notification bell. If anything I say uh, resonates with you so that you can continue to get the content. And I thank you so much for that. I love you guys immensely. You are my people. You will always be in my heart because you are me and I am you. <laughs> We're one.
done together, as I always say, get your son, hug somebody. There's always someone out there that needs a hug. And just stay in peace, guys. We are in this together and always remember that. I love you again. Take care. And until next time, peace be unto you. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.